We got to watch this fucking shit. All right. Here's what the why didn't that work? Here we go. All right. So this was put out this morning. Melania Trump made a uh, parting statement. Uh, a parting statement. So let's take a look at it and let's hear what it's all about. My fellow Americans, it has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as First Lady of the United States. I have been inspired by incredible Americans across our country who lift up our communities through their kindness and courage. The funny thing is, um, this is not, everybody makes the meme about leftist audio, but I have boosted this maximum. I have boosted it on Twitter maximum. There is no way for this to get louder. And every single right wing video we do always is beta audio. We have a joke in my community where we go beta audio because everyone, and I was even watching Vosh this morning. Yeah, I saw that. I saw Vosh with the Ben Shapiro video. The audio was so bad. How do they not know anything? They're worse than me and I don't know shit about audio. Listen, my audio is nice and crisp and clean and I do this out of my fucking shitty apartment with a fucking $100 mic and a free audio thing. It's ridiculous. Anyway, let's let's try to struggle through. I have this boosted as loud as I can, okay? Do you think Melania is a person that genuinely hates what her 20-year husband is doing or she kind of so-so on his policies? Um, Adam Flores, yeah, okay, I, I personally am of the belief that Melania Trump, like, grudgingly goes along with his poli- with his politics, like, she does believe them somewhat, but not to the same degree at all. If you listen to the leaked audio of, um, her talking about the Christmas thing, she was, like, so, oh my god, she was, like, she clearly believes some of it, she's like, they're so mean to us, they're so mean, um, but at the same time, she also clearly hates her job and didn't ask for any of this didn't ask for any of this so i think that like i think she does have shitty politics i just think she didn't ask for any of this and is like a fish like floundering trying to find her way out yeah exactly yes that's that's correct grime dango i think she doesn't give a shit i think she just hates everyone now and she hates that trump got the presidency she just wants to go back to being like rich and getting all her nice things all the time and not having to do all this bullshit there are first ladies who love politics, but it's not Melania. I could tell you that, at least not in my view. I don't think there's any evidence to say that Melania likes it. Goodness and grace. Can you hear this? The past four years have been unforgettable. As Donald and I conclude our time in the White House, I think of all of the people I have taken okay. home in my heart and their incredible stories of love, patriotism, and determination. You live a life of extreme luxury, I see luxury, the faces of brave young soldiers who have told me with their pride in their eyes how much they love serving this country. To every service member and to our incredible military families, you are heroes. Yeah, rich lady, and go for correct be in my thoughts and prayers. I think of all of the members of law enforcement. Do I think Michelle Obama liked politics? Yes, I actually do think Michelle Obama likes being involved in politics. Michelle Obama seems very passionate about certain things. And to her credit, she seems very passionate about education, like unironically. Like, I don't love the Obamas at all, as you all surely know. But Michelle Obama actually does seem to give a shit about some level of politics. Like, she still does not now, yeah that anyway let's get back to it who greet us everywhere we go at every hour of every day they stand guard to keep our community safe just imagine your entire forever personality and, and peak at life is serving the state i have been moved by children i have visited 100 percent. thank you adam of course i'm going to read you the trash kavindi even as they fight difficult illnesses or face trash challenges okay. they bring such a joy to everyone they meet I remember the mothers who have battled the disease of opioid addiction and have overcome incredible hardships for love of their children. I have been inspired by the oh, devoted you, caregivers for babies born with neonatal absence syndrome and communities that give these children the support 
and care they need to grow. What? I'm actually lost here. I, I know that she always does save the children stuff, but remember, her husband is like one of the worst, probably one of the worst presidents for children that you could possibly imagine. Like, unironically, think of this. Um, I want you to recognize, again, and we're going to talk about COVID a lot today because it's one of the... Um, one of the discussions that's on the panel I'll be going on in a bit. Um, and remember, how many people, how many children are going to grow up without parents and without grandparents because 400,000 Americans are dead? Yeah, there's the pedophile stuff too about Epstein and all that bullshit. But I just want you to realize, like, that is fucking terrible. But statistically, that's a small number of people being horrifically victimized. If you want to really think about the children, 400,000 dead Americans are going to no longer have par uh, I mean, those dead Americans are going to be leaving behind their children, their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren. It's terrible. That's a lot of people. Melania doesn't give a fuck, and Donald Trump doesn't give a fuck. I think about these meaningful experiences. Yeah, I'm not to mention evictions. I've had the opportunity to represent a nation with such kind and generous people. I'm sorry. I know that I keep interrupting this because this is bo boring as shit. But remember, can you do you know how how, how many people here, has anyone here come close to eviction? Has anybody here come close to eviction or been evicted? Yeah, if you have. It is one of the most terrifying experiences you can possibly imagine. And as a child, that's even worse. It's even worse as a kid. If your family gets evicted as a kid, you get to watch, you get to watch your family fail because of no, ne no, no fault of their own. They, you have to watch your parents cry the shame in their face as they are kicked out on the street by police through no fault of their own. And you might be told it is their fault. You might be told it's your fault for existing. So with all due respect, the Trumps can fucking shut the fuck up and say and fucking can the pro-child bullshit. We won't have an uncle whatsoever. Thanks to the malign apathy against minorities. And I've come close to eviction. Adam, I'm really, har I'm really sorry to hear that. Thank you for your incredible generosity. I'm really, really sorry to hear that. That's rough. Is the donate noise too loud? Okay, I'll turn it down a little bit. There we go. Here we go. As the world continues to confront the COVID-19 pandemic, thank I thank all, all of the nurses, doctors, healthcare professionals, manufacturing workers, drug drivers, and so many others who are working to save lives. That you've left with nothing. We grieve that you've left with nothing. Your party, your president, your actions have pushed against the benefits these people need. For the families who have lost a loved one due to the pandemic. Every life is precious. And I ask all Americans to use caution and common sense to protect the vulnerable as millions of vaccines are now being delivered. By the way, uh, the vaccine rollout is a disaster. The vaccine rollout has been a disaster and almost no one is getting them because Donald Trump and his uh, and his COVID team are incompetent idiots. In the midst of hardship, we have seen the best of America shine through. Students have made cards and delivered groceries to our senior citizens. Teachers- Which they wouldn't have needed if the government took action. Have worked twice as hard to keep our children learning Families have come together to provide meals, supplies, comfort, and friendship to those in need. Yeah, and guess what? You are now thank. This is, you know what this is? This is uh, inspiration porn. You know when they go like, heartwarming, child runs lemonade stand to raise money for parents debilitating cancer treatment. That's what this is right now. That's what she's doing right now. This is inspiration porn right now. It's like children delivered groceries because the government failed. Uh, children saved their their ailing grandparents, dragging them out to the hospital nearby to the medical clinic because we didn't fund the medical clinic. We didn't fund the ambulance service. Be passionate in everything you do, but always remember that violence is never the answer and will never be justified. What about the violence your 
fucking what about the violence your administration your husband's leadership is springing on this nation on mass what about the violence that comes from the fact that you're literally starving a, a a third of americans population by refusing to give them the help they need when i came to the white house i reflected on the responsibility i have always felt as a mother to encourage give strength and teach values of kindness it is our duty as adults and parents do you think melania trump gives a shit about any of her kids <laughs> i don't think so i don't think so <sighs> just gonna say yeah she probably likes baron she probably does like baron but like you can see the hatred in her in her face when she looks at her own kids like literally you could fucking see it in her face with the exception of baron to ensure the children had the remember that clip where ivanka walks by and she goes remember that do we remember that from the rnc where ivanka walks by and she's like immediately the moment that ivanka looks the other way do we remember that does anybody remember that was ancient history these days best opportunities to lead fulfilling and healthy lives the passion for helping children succeed ancient has history these days i swear initiatives as first lady i launched be best to ensure that we as americans are doing all we can to take care of the next generation be best has concentrated on three pillars well i don't think it's going to happen boy but maybe safety could happen and opioid abuse in a few short years, I have raised awareness of how to keep children safe online. Were, wasn't the Purdue family, I'm sorry, wasn't the Purdue family literally one of Trump's biggest donors? Oh, you have the clip? Oh my God, we can watch the clip. Yes, I wanna show you the clip. Sorry, I know this is totally frivolous and like really, really catty, but I don't care. We're gonna watch the clip. If this is a fucking Rickroll, I'm gonna scream. Yes, here we go, here we go. turn the sound off whoops hey 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 that's the wrong video here we go watch this watch this can we slow it down oh my god let me slow it down here we go watch the face watch her face ready watch this ready smile and immediately she walks away look at that look of absolute hatred even with the flat like and then she realizes, ah, oh, fuck, I'm on a stage. Holy shit. I told you, it's fucking real. This isn't fake. Look at that. Look at that anger. She's like, oh, I fucking hate this bitch. I don't want to be here. Yeah, she's uncomfortable. Oh my God. The RNC was a nightmare. Yeah, it was. Yeah, the fucking green dress. Here we go. Anyway, let's get back to this. Here we go. We have made incredible progress on our nation's the green drug did. epidemic and how it impacts the oh, lives yeah, I've seen that of newborns yeah. and families. And we have given a voice to our most- Yeah, but, but see, here's the thing. Chris, I know, but she also opens her eyes wider. You don't open your eyes wider when there's stage lights. I'm just saying, I know we're doing some body language spirit science here, but when you're looking into bright lights, you usually go like this, not, you don't go like, you go like, you don't go anyway whatever most vulnerable children true in their true. foster care system internationally be best have evolved into a platform that encourages world leaders to discuss okay, issues I'll, I'll hold impacting that for later the lives Thank of you. children Check and that allows out later. them to share solutions it has been an honor to represent the american people abroad I treasure each of my experiences and the inspiring people I have met along the way. As I say farewell to my role as First Lady, it is my sincere hope hmm. that every American will do their part to teach our children what it means to be best. I encourage parents to educate your children about the courageous and selfless heroes who worked and sacrificed to make this country the land. Did she have a racist outburst? Wait, really? Did she have a racist outburst? I don't know if I've ever even heard that. ...of the free, 
and to lead by example and care for others in your community. The promise of this nation belongs to all of us. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. I do remember that retcon. Do not lose sight of your integrity and values. Use every opportunity to show consideration hey, for another good person. Good job, Benjamin. And build good habits into your daily lives. In all circumstances, I ask every American to <laughs> True, be an ambassador good faith actor. of Be Best. To focus on what unites us. To raise above what divides us. I thought she was... To always is she Russian or is she Ukrainian? Hatred, I couldn't remember. Peace over violence and others before yourself. She's Ukrainian. Together, yeah, she's Ukrainian. as one national family, we can continue to be the light of hope for future generations. Or Slovenian? And carry on is she America's legacy of rising oh, she's Slovenian. our nation I thought she was, to greater Jesus heights. Jesus Christ. Okay, she's Slovenian. Okay, okay, okay. Courage, Same as Zizek? Goodness <laughs> and fate. No words can express the depth of my gratitude for the privilege of having served as your first lady. <laughs> That's not nice, veteran. To all the people of this country, you will be in my heart forever. Thank you. God bless schniff, you schniff. and God bless the United States of America. Is he transphobic? All right. Okay, that was incredibly boring.